Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. As you see, I have 100% in the extra mode. It took a little while. Well, actually not that long when I actually got into it. <laughs> but I got the extra mode all set to go and I'd like to show you a few exclusive stuff in the extra mode. But first I'm going to get a power from the lower star cutter. I think you know which one I'm going to be getting here. Um, I'm going to be showing these extras in the extra mode before I get over to the uh, true arena because you'll end up seeing this stuff anyway. So the, all the all this extra stuff here, you're gonna have to go through before I get, I mean, before you get to the true arena. And did I kind of repeat myself there? I think I did, hmm. Anyway, let's just get over to it. The first thing I'm gonna be, gonna be showing here is Sphere Doomer EX. You know how it gets into that extra special mode where it can only be damaged by uh, super abilities? Well, that has a brand new attack that you won't see in the true arena, because as you know, in the arenas, they do not make you switch to powers regardless if they are uh, super abilities or not, because they want you to, you know, use a power that you're comfortable with throughout the entire thing. So what I'm just going to be doing here is showing off Sphere Doomer EX from the very beginnings to the very end, and here we go. Well, it won't automatically transport to the boss. I gotta walk to the right a little bit further. As you know, it's got this very suspenseful, but now very obvious foreshadowing of the Sphere Doomers, well, Grand Doomers entrance. Because it's like, yeah, Kirby is oblivious once again for some reason. <laughs> and you'll notice that the appearance of EX bosses are also different. We got a much more sinister looking Grand Doomer. But that is okay, he even looks more awesome than he did before. So I'm just gonna pretty much spam through here and kill him as fast as I possibly can. Well, I should say at least get over to the final mode as fast as I can. Look out for that attack, it does that. It, uh, the, a lot of the EX mode bosses, they are dependent on you knowing their attack patterns. Like, if you are so used to battling them in their normal forms, you're probably going to get creamed with their EX forms, because they have a lot of attacks that are, like, quite unexpected compared to what you're used to, and then what you end up doing is putting yourself in the line of fire, uh, rather than if you were to have played this blind or something and just memorized their patterns on their own. So I wouldn't say that the EX bosses are harder than the original forms, as long as you get their patterns down. It's just a matter of, the thing is that you're so used to the original bosses that it's going to throw you for a loop the first time. <laughs> I think that's the whole idea. And now it's going to go into its extra special mode here, and this is the mode that I came here to show. Because it's got a new attack, this sort of meteor attack that comes from the left side. And this isn't the one. Ah! I mispredicted that. And I don't need that power anyway, actually. I can't even use that power against him, so goodbye, Spark. I hardly knew ye- Oh! I need that! I need that! I need that! Woo! Woo! And- oh! I'd like him to do his meteor attack one of these days. In fact, that's, since, I'm, that, since that's what I'm here for, it's kind of, you know, something that I should be showing. <laughs> and that's his meteor attack. He just comes from one side of the screen and attacks you with a big flaming charge. And... Perfect timing. That's really all there is to Grand Doomer EX and his special added bonus, so to speak, at least until I get to him in the uh, true arena once more. But I just wanted to show this off because it's exclusive to the extra mode and figure that it's worth showing first. Awesome music, by the way. <laughs> and another epic and gruesome death. Speaking of epic and gruesome, I, I always, I, I mean, I've been finding something funny here, is that the ESRB, you know, the people that make the ratings for the games and stuff like that, they rated Kirby's Return to Dreamland, everyone 10 and over, and they also rated Skyward Sword 10 and over. Doesn't that seem a little off? <laughs> I mean, uh, Kirby's was because of animated violence. Well, Zelda had that as well, plus uh, blood, alcohol, and I mean alcohol references, and so it's like, why 
why did Kirby get an E10 rating when it's not really that violent? <laughs> but if you look at the Skyward Sword, it's a lot more... I don't want to say realistic, because it's definitely not realistic, but I mean it's a lot more relatable, per se, for a person. Anyway, um... What I'm going to do here next in the EX mode is do the final challenge, which is World 8. The reason why is because World 8 completely changed. Well, it's level 8. You'll notice right off the bat, you've already got these star things, and they're hot on your heels, and I did that poorly. <laughs> I wanted to do that, but I was charging up an attack, and I am the worst gamer ever. <laughs> um, somebody told me that I did the whole charge thing wrong is that you can actually shake the controller to get one higher level of star power. Like, if you're just holding the button to charge it, you'll only get that. But if you shake the controller, you'll get a higher level of star like that. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I should not be getting that close to the top of the screen where that's where the stars is com are coming from. I got some meat. That'll help a little bit. Especially since I already took a load of damage for... Some oh, man, what is wrong with me? I hope I'm able to get through this. This isn't that hard. But I'm playing like an idiot. <laughs> it's not... It hasn't been a while since I played the game, I just played this last night to uh, get through the true arena. And uh, the true arena itself, not that hard as long as you practice the bosses that you have trouble with ahead of time and get their patterns down. Um, that, that was the main thing that I was worried about with the true arena, was that I wouldn't be able to, uh, you know, just like jump into it because I had a lot of trouble with the EX bosses because I was so used to the original boss patterns as I explained with the uh, Sphere Doomer EX part there. So I took the time to uh, not only get through the EX mode, but practice the bosses that I had the most trouble with. So now that I got it all set up and ready to go, here I am again. <laughs> and now you'll notice that this section, another completely different section. I mean, it's got the same enemies you know as before, but there's a lot more pressure to kill these enemies off than there ever was before, especially using that diagonal attack. So take advantage of that wherever you can to avoid, you know, having as a lot of bullets on the screen as possible, and also shoot their bullets as they're coming along. Oh, no, 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 Jeez, that was close. That was really close. Way too close for comfort. And no, 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 don't you dare. If you'll notice that it's it's harder to go backwards than it is going forward, and they took advantage of it in this uh, extra mode remake of World 8. Er, level 8! Level 8! And... So they got uh, a couple of sections that are pressuring you not to get squished like that, or get left behind. Oh man, like this right here, I almost got hit by the star. Those things are awesome, by the way. They look really cool, and they're fun to dodge. Alright, boss time! Uh, this boss you'll be able to see again in the True Arena. Uh, there's no changes but, uh, between this and the True Arena of this boss, other than you have more health. But I'm just showing this off anyway because I have to get over to Megalore's first form, because Megalore's first form also has an EX mode special thing where, you know, as you can only hit him with the super ability things. So. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to show that off, and I might as well just redo. Well, I, sh I don't. I shouldn't say redo. I should say that I might as well just, uh, you know, keep the record recording flowing smoothly like this to keep my commentary feel going in the same direction. Uh, as I said, uh, this boss is gonna be repeated, so you're gonna see it again, but no big deal, really. Uh, just take some notes here, <laughs> I guess, while you're watching me beat it. Um, once it gets into its second mode here, it's going to be a little more aggressive. I actually think the lore EX is a lot easier to beat than the original version of the lore. I, I don't know why, I just have such an easier time with the lore EX than I do with the original. <laughs> I can't explain it, I just do. Even though it's got some attacks that, again, virtually rely on you predicting them as if they were the original attacks. Well, uh, these yellow spheres are new, they come in from the background. Uh, it's got this, now watch this, it's gonna reverse directions. See, that's one of the kinds of attacks that expect you to know the attack and then run yourself into the tornado. But if you know if, that it's coming, you're not gonna have trouble dodging it. And I think that's uh, one of the reasons why Lord EX is, I find, a lot easier than the original version. And there we go! <laughs> Ah, 
Mark, he says, I have been defeated once more. He looks the same there, but he's he's got a changed appearance in his uh, boss form coming up here. And I'm just going to skip the cutscene. You're going to see this when you play through the extra mode yourself. And, yep, I'm going to grab the spark and be cheap about it. <laughs> All right, through the door we go, half health. This isn't hard at all. I'm just, <laughs> I'm hyping it up even though it's not that hard. Dun dun dun. Let's do it. Shake 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 mischief makers. I love that game so much. I kind of wonder if I should have actually put more effort into that walkthrough because of that. Because way back in the day, I didn't put as much effort into my walkthroughs as I do now. You know, making sure everything's 100 percented as I do now. Like, I could have got the gold gems in the Mis Mischief Makers walkthrough, but I didn't because I was lazy and just did a normal stage playthrough of sorts. And I wonder if I should uh, one day go through that again. But I can't record N64 games with this setup because of the fact that the um, camera... I should say the copy protection in the game or whatever prevents me from recording the games. It, it corrupts the video files after like 40 some seconds or so. So I can't record N64 games. It also goes for SNES and NES games as well because they also have the same copy protection things. So that's out of the question. No, 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 don't hit me with that. And uh, yeah. <laughs> That's really all I have to say about that, so that's why I haven't done SNES games other than on emulators. And I can't emulate N64 games. The emulators for it just aren't advanced enough to play some N64 games that I want to play. As, as well as our computer just not being powerful enough, it's just too laggy. Anyway, here's the special mode that I was talking about that's different, that you won't see in the true arena. So I'm gonna drop that and suck up. The snowball! Yes, the snowball! Completely different. You have to use the jump on your snowball here, two button on the controller if you don't rec recall that, to jump up and hit him while you're charging. You just gotta wait for him to get over from the background into the foreground so you can smash him. You have to do this twice, and he's doing, he's doing more wind. This wind doesn't really do much of anything. <laughs> Now he's going to strip you of your power, but that's okay. You're going to be getting the Grand Hammer next. Yes, the Grand Hammer. Come on, baby. Come on. Where are you? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, this is a new attack in his uh, special EX mode as well. Well, I should say his... Um, I guess you could call it an EX mode or the Super Mode. I don't know. Whatever you want to call this. Whatever whatever works for you, I suppose. Hammer! Yeehoo! You'll notice that they gave you the hammer flat out rather than forcing you to face bonkers because it's like a boss and a boss would be a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> you know, every time you may lose your hammer power or something like that. Now, over here, it's, a, it's quite tricky to hit him with the hammer. You gotta be really close to him to hit him with the hammer. So, get, oh shoot. So get close to him and charge up like right here and hope that it nicks him. Good. Because you'll notice that the hammer only strikes downwards, aside from the shockwave, and the shockwave goes right underneath him. So you have to plan your moves accordingly. And I think that's why they gave you the grand hammer for this to make the to make this boss a little bit harder than it was before in the X mode. And as I said, this is not in the true arena, so you won't see this anywhere else other than the extra mode. So that's why I'm showing this first before I get over to the true arena. Alright, now he's going to strip me of my power once more, and then I'm going to get Ye Ol Sword. Well, Ultra Sword. Come on. Give me power, baby. There you are. Just what I needed. Hiya. And let's just clear the screen of enemies first. Oh, I can hit him there. Ah, oh, I could have hit him there. Curse says my reaction time was just a little too slow. Oh, now I gotta deflect his arrow blast spears. <laughs> and go, go, go! Yeah! And one more attack. Oh, he's not in the foreground enough. And that's all for the extra mode that I'm gonna be showing here. I'll show you 
the final form in in the true arena, his final form here. But I'm not going to show it now. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we finish this game. Don't get cocky, Kirby. The hardest challenge is awaiting us.